the infamous Sirizal. But before you can use it, you gotta put it together, and here's how. Now the Sirizal is just an attachment, and you actually need three items in order to put it together. One is the gas tank, the other end actually is the Sirizal head, and then you need a torch, and I recommend the TS-8000 for it. It's the most powerful torch you can use. Now you wanna use these little two tools in order to put it together, and step one is to put together the actual torch itself. Just attach on the gas tank and it's ready to go. Before actually attaching the series all head, make sure you test out the torch and that the torch is working perfectly just fine. Attaching the sears out to the torch, it's not a big deal. There is a little screw and you just tighten it up by hand. The most important thing to remember is the actual torch and the sears all. And for that, they give you a little toothpick kind of tool in order to measure the spacing. However, I found that leaving a little bit of extra space on that is actually a good thing. And I do believe that's the reason why mine has lasted for such a long time. Once that part is done, just tighten up the screw and it's ready to go. Once you have put everything together, it is important to season the screen. And seasoning basically what it means is that you wanna burn off everything so that it lasts as long as possible. And you're supposed to be doing this face down for about two minutes. Once it's all ready to go, then it doesn't matter the direction that you point it in, it will be just fine. After it has been seasoned, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it did change a little bit of a color. It's like a patine color and your Searzor is ready to go. Now it no longer matters what position you hold it in, it will be awesome either way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe to this channel where I'll be giving more tips and tricks from my main channel, which is Sous Vide Everything. And if you're not a subscriber to Sous Vide Everything, make sure you subscribe to that one as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.